Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the new poster for Season 7 that was just released, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, exciting news, we've got our first official Flash poster, we've been looking forward to this for a long time. The trailer came out recently, we broke it down, go check out all the recent Flash videos or any other videos that you want to catch up on because we've been uploading a bunch in this past week. And so I'm very excited to be breaking down this first Flash Season 7 poster. Now this poster features all of our heroes, well most of them, not all of them, but you know like our core members of Team Flash. And so you see Barry at the front, and we're going to actually properly break down and get into it, why this is a cool poster, what it teases, and everything. But now let's go ahead and break down this poster. So yeah, front and center, you've got Barry Allen. And behind all of our characters, you have a big Flash logo. And so Barry is literally standing on water. We know he can do that in the past. We've seen him run across water and everything like that. So it makes sense. And... You have the city behind him, it is engulfed in this sort of orange sunset light and the light is beaming up into the air and it's like ready orange and then yellow at the bottom. So it just has this nice kind of gradient effect, it looks really nice. And you have Barry standing there on that water and this is actually a new photo so I'm wondering if they took this last season like before the shutdown or did they take these photos recently as promo photos because if you guys don't know they have photo shoots where they will take high quality photos to use in posters so that you know the graphic designers can work properly and make something that is evocative of the flash like this you can see his body his suit is engulfed in lightning all over and I think it looks really really cool and it gets me really excited so you can totally tell I'm going to be using this on my thumbnails from now on because it's so sick. And behind Barry, you have all of our other members, that being Joe, Killer Frost, Iris, and Cisco. And so distinctively, they put in Killer Frost instead of her as Caitlyn Snow. So, you know, she looks really cool in the suit. I do believe this is actually a new photo because it's one of her recent suits. And I haven't seen this before unless, like I said, with The Flash, with Barry, with Grant, if this is something that they took last year, it would seem like it could be a new photo of Killer Frost that they have edited into the poster. But I actually believe the ones of Cisco, Iris, and Joe, I believe these ones were taken in the past. I 100% know I've seen this one of Iris before. I'm not 100% about Cisco and Joe. Maybe you guys know a bit more about that and you can tell me if they've been used before, but they do look familiar. But I know 100% in the DC fandom poster, they use this image of Iris. And so the poster maker or, you know, the graphic designer specifically retooled it for this poster. And so moving on to the tagline. So the tagline is at the top of the poster and it says, the future favors the fast. So obviously this is a reference to a famous quote, but I don't know the specific quote, but it seems very obvious and maybe I'm totally blanking on it and I'm missing it. However, you guys can let me know in the comments down below, but I know it's this sort of pun or like this tagline that has been used before on the show or like in other mediums, like apart from The Flash. And the future favors the fast. Obviously the fast is Barry, it favors him <clears throat> and his speed primarily because he needs to use his speed to defeat his villain so that is the obvious reference there and also the other references at the start of the season we're going to see Barry getting his powers back he's going to be getting that speed force energy back as you can see in this poster he is engulfed with speed force lightning and so he is going to be getting his speed back whether it's through the artificial speed force or somehow recreating and bringing back the original Speed Force, but we went over that in a video yesterday, so go check out that theory video to do with Season 7 of The Flash and the new Speed Force. But the other part of this tagline, the future, could be meaning that we might be getting some sort of time travel story this season. So we know Godspeed is coming, but where is Godspeed from? Is Godspeed from another Earth? Is he just, you know, here and he's sending clones from within side Central City? Or is he actually from the future? That is the hint that I've kind of got throughout this whole time since we were introduced to the Godspeed clones. I got a feeling that he's sending them back from the future. 
So with the future favoring the fast, what happens if this somehow is a hint towards there being a future storyline where at some point Barry will have to time travel to the future, find out who is sending back these Godspeed clones, and that's kind of what happens this season in regards to the main villain, and maybe that storyline is going to engulf the whole season, but it does seem like an obvious choice of words with them including the future. So give me your theories in the comments down below, do you think we're going to get some sort of time travel storyline where we will go to the future at some point in season 7? We'll have to wait and see, but yeah this poster is awesome and I can't wait for season 7. And so the tagline that the Flash account on Twitter tweeted out with was this, Love will conquer darkness, season 7 premieres Tuesday March 2nd. And so the tagline of Love Will Conquer Darkness is in reference to Barry trying to get back to Iris and Iris trying to get back to Barry. As we know and as was hinted in the new Flash trailer, Barry has found a way to get into the Mirrorverse. He is going to be going through a portal of sorts. He's going to be discovering that hopefully in the first episode, potentially the second episode, and Iris is going to eventually get out the Mirrorverse and Barry is going to be using the last of his speed because, like it says, his love will conquer the darkness and he will find a way essentially to finding Iris and so he's got 1% of speed left, he's going to be trying to get into there and he's going to do all that he can. And at the same time on the flip side, Iris is going to be trying to get out of the Mirrorverse and I've got a feeling that even though Barry's going to find a way in, I feel like Iris is going to get out herself and so just talking about the love conquering darkness this means Barry and Iris are going to reunite and I think it's at that point and we've seen it in the behind the scenes leaks that they're going to team up and they're going to somehow get through to Eva at which she's going to stop and she's going to help Team Flash defeat her army of clones. And just a few more things so yes there are obviously more members there are a few missing characters from this poster but you know, recently they've been really liking their kind of team up posters, but they never include everyone. And obviously, you know, maybe at some point in the future, some of those other characters like Allegra and Chester, maybe they'll become superheroes or they'll become like upgraded members if any of our core team members leave and they will be included in some of those. Also in regards to Barry's suit, yes, no gold boots for season seven as of right now. However, Barry could be getting them later on in the season because at DC Fandom, he teased that this was coming at some point and they specifically choose everything that is said at that DC Fandom panel. So I'm sure that was a proper teaser that maybe at some point in the season, we might get like an upgraded poster where you see Barry in a new suit or the same suit with gold boots. So that could totally be happening and also it's interesting to note that Cisco's on this poster because Cisco is going to be back in the first episode even though at the end of last season if you guys can recall he was actually absent from that final episode because he was supposed to come back you know take like a one episode break but due to circumstances he was actually not in that final finale episode because of the lockdown and them having to shut down production so yeah crazy stuff happened however Everything should be fine and we should be getting some more promotional insight and sort of new pieces of information as we head towards the Flash coming back on March 2nd. So be sure to look out for that and remember to check out all my new Flash videos and any other DC TV video I make every single day. But for now, please be sure to go into the comment section down below. Give me your thoughts and opinions on the Flash Season 7. Are you really excited? And how do you think this poster looks? I think it looks amazing and I can't wait to see if any of this future teasers actually play out. And I can't wait for further promos because they've been dropping a bunch of Superman and Lois promos like a bunch of new footage just came out today. I'm sure I'm going to do like some sort of wrap up video just before Superman and Lois airs on the 23rd because they've been dropping photos, they've been dropping promos, inside looks, sneak peeks, left, right and center and we'll get around to that at some point. And the Flash is going to be heading up to something similar like that very very soon as the show is literally coming out like a week after but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new but for now thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys later goodbye
icy road.